Hi guys, Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about how to install carbon fiber pipe cards. Seems kind of crazy that, that uh, I'm making this video, but a lot of guys have problems with these. We get calls on them all the time saying, you sent me the wrong card, it didn't fit, when we actually sent them the right card. And, you know, people have different levels of mechanical ability, and if you're at the lower level of that, I can understand where you might struggle with getting this on. <clears throat> Guys that have been doing this a long time just kind of jump in there and get her done. But um, so anyhow, I'm going to show you how to do it here real quick. So the complaint we get is that they don't fit. Guys think that they should just come up here and just it should just fall on. Well, if it did, it'd be a really poor fit once it was on there. So they actually have to kind of pop in, and you know it's it's a little more difficult here on on my um, countertop here in my office than it would be on, on the bike when the pipe is mounted and you've got something firm to work with instead of here I'm going to have to chase the pipe around a little bit. Anyhow, you just put it on. It doesn't really matter where you start. I mean, I think you could probably start at that if you wanted to, but I think it's easier if you start on the, on the, on the uh, big area here, the fat part of the expansion chamber. Set it on there and you can see over here, you know, you're like, oh man, that's never going to fit. Well, it does. So you just I push in a little bit here and I squeeze right here, bam, it's on. It's really that simple. You just pop it on there. It's not going to break. Don't have to worry about that. And uh, that's just how they go on. You know, they got to kind of fit like a glove. And then once you tighten them down, you know, it fit nice and tight here. They don't ever seem to really fit super tight here on the back part. But, you know, it's just the way it is. You know, it's not perfect, but it is damn good. So from there, how to put the clamps on. Well, if you want, you can run the clamps, you know, through these holes and over the top, or you can even have them go in, inside, and then that will kind of pop the guard out a little bit. So I don't like that, and I don't like the idea of having it out here like this either. It just it looks bad. These are pretty nice looking guards. I mean, they're sexy looking, and and this applies to the any other all the brands of the carbon fiber guards this video does so the way i do it is in the instructions i believe it tells you in the instructions how to cut the clamp and then bend it and just make a hook on the end of it so first of all i set it up here and kind of decide what i want the head of the clamp to be because you know i don't want it out here somewhere or up on top you know it would look bad plus it's going to catch you if you're working on your bike, you're going to tear your knuckles off on that. So I'm, I want to kind of hide it, make it look clean, and also make it to where I'm probably not going to tear my hand up or something else up on it. So I've already kind of marked it here that I want it right back here. And you got to be careful. If you put it all the way around back there, it can gouge your radiator. I've seen quite a few of those where guys have it back there rubbing on the radiator, and before long, you've got a bad leak. So just be careful of that. So I just set it right here, and then I took a magic marker and I marked it where, where I want it to go through here. So I need to leave enough. So I just take some tin snips. It just takes these tools here. Tin snips, a couple pair of pliers, a black magic marker. And I'm going to you know, leave maybe three quarters to an inch on here. Cut it off. And I'm going to take these pliers, grab it close to this mark, and I'm going to bend it. And I'm going to take my needle nose and get in here and bend it a little bit more. And then what I actually do is I smash it even more yet, because I want to get this tighter, this part tighter. So I'm going to smash it even more. Then I'm going to open it back up. So I guess I, should, I can do it this. I'm going to open it back up. Okay, so now I've got a nice a tighter loop there. And then I'm going to gotta pull this out a little bit. Sorry guys, it's, it's kind of hard to do this on in the office here, but I think you'll get the gist of it. So I'm going to pull it out even more. Get it started. And I'm going to 
squeeze it down again. And don't be afraid to manhandle these things. They can take it. So I would probably go back and trim that back piece off a little bit more just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then from there, I'm going to take the piece that I trimmed off. And I'm going to screw it into here. against the pipe. I'm going to mark it again. Back off. Start by bending this just a little bit first. Now, it doesn't have to be a right here, just kind of eyeball it. And I'm going to make this tang a little bit shorter this time. This one I don't hit because it's right there on that piece, I don't have to bend it as much. Pop this back out. Like I said before, this is much easier to do with the pipe mounted on the bike. So going back around over here. And then on the other side, it's got a, a, a groove made here on, on this, and there's no slots to, to do what I did over there. So this one just goes on the outside. And I usually position the head of it down below here, because I don't want to see it. And then after I get both of them on there, then I tighten them up a little bit at a time to get it nice and snug. And then after the first ride, you know, the heat will, will uh, change things a little bit. And then I come back and I snug it up again. That usually will pull in a little bit even tighter after that. So. You know, it's, it's pretty clean that way. You don't have the hose clamp running across the pipe. You don't have the hose clamp under the, under, across the guard, excuse me. And you don't have the hose clamp underneath the guard, which I've seen guys do that, but then that brings the guard way out, makes it to where even more stuff gets underneath it. I think this is a pretty clean setup. You know, when it's mounted on the bike, you're not even going to see the head of that um, hose clamp. And that's really all there is to it. Now, there's probably better ways to do this. I don't know. This is just my way of doing it. Um, works for me. That looks clean. It's pretty simple to do. And really, that's all there is to it. That's all for now, guys.